Hey everybody, Seth Daly here, and I wanted to drop you a quick note to help you understand some concepts from a recent headline. So you might have heard the news that Zillow announced that they are stopping their iBuying program. And you might wonder like, what does Zillow and their iBuying have to do with me? Well, a couple of things. So number one, understand that Zillow is a huge player in the real estate industry. So what they do has an impact on all of us and what they're seeing uh, maybe is some news that we should see. So a couple of thoughts on this. Number one, Zillow was trusted in algorithms to determine pricing and they were going out and they were buying properties, typically sight unseen at, at numbers derived from their Z estimate, right? It's a, it's a number that they've been working on for, for decades here. So a couple of thoughts. One, that means that this Z estimate, they just started to realize that it might not be telling them the whole truth, right? There might be some other factors that are beyond just the quantifiable numbers or the algorithms that they could see. There's things like, uh, there's features of the home. There are uh, the neighborhood that it's in. There's the proximity to schools. There's the feel of the neighborhood. There are things beyond just the numbers that you need to pay attention to. And that's something that Zillow learned the hard way. The second thing is this, Zillow is buying a lot of properties and they ran into the challenge that we've run into, that many of you have run into as well. And that is, oh my gosh, now we bought these houses and we need to get them fixed up. And there are massive supply chain issues. And I say this because we are always uh, looking to keep a great list of contractors in our Rolodex and electricians and plumbers and HVAC companies. And the reality is, man, that's a challenge, especially in this market. Uh, not only are we dealing with supply chain issues in terms of materials, but we're dealing with supply chain issues when it comes to contractors as well, from painting to plumbing and you name it. So if there's anybody that you know that you're like, this person is a 10 out of 10, we would love their information. We'd love to be able to pass it along to other great clients. And if you need somebody and you're running into supply chain issues with an update that you're doing to your home uh, and you want to you wanna peek into our Rolodex, we're happy to share that as well. So just reach out. And the third comment is this, if Zillow is pausing, and I'm going to say pausing because they might be ending it entirely, but at a minimum, they've completely uh, stopped the program for now, and they've laid off a lot of employees in this process. But here's what that means. That means that if they're pausing the program, that we might not be at the peak of a market where we're going to drop down the other side like a roller coaster, but we certainly might be hitting a plateau. If you have been considering selling your house, and you're waiting and you're waiting till prices hit their peak, I don't really know what you're waiting for. Uh, and I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. We are still watching sellers get top dollar. And yet most major headlines right now are talking about how the market is peaking or the market is slowing in its appreciation. And if that's something you want to take advantage of, we want to help you do it. So absolutely reach out. Happy to have a conversation with you. Happy to talk uh, about your unique home uh, in your specific circumstances to see if that would be a win-win for your family. Hope you're doing well and reach out anytime we can be of assistance. Take care.